नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम्स यू इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग एंड द हाईलाइट ऑफ द ब्रीफिंग इज द सीवियर वेरी सीवियर साइक्लोनिक स्टॉम मोका ओवर द सेंट्रल बे ऑफ बंगाल एंड अनदर हाईलाइट इज द वट वी विल सी दी हीट वेव कंडीशन ओवर दी राजस्थान गुजरात एंड महाराष्ट्र ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट टू डेज एंड अनदर स्पेल ऑफ हीट वेव कंडीशन लाइकली टू स्टार्ट ओवर दी ईस्ट इंडिया फ्रॉम फिफ्टींथ ऑफ मे If you look for the uh, cyclonic storm Moka, then yesterday cyclonic storm Moka has intensified into a severe cyclonic storm yesterday evening, and it further intensified into a very very severe cyclonic storm today morning. And today morning, this very severe cyclonic storm is roughly 530 kilometer away from the Port Blair, and it is 950 kilometer away from the Cox Bazar in the Bangladesh, and it is 870 kilometer. Away from the south southwest of the Sitwe in the Myanmar, and this black color line represents the observed track of this cyclonic storm, and this red color line represents the what will be the forecast track of the cyclonic storm. So as we can see, this cyclonic storm very likely to move north north eastwards towards the Bangladesh and Myanmar coast, and uh, it will reach to the coast by the uh, forenoon of the 14th May, and this will. Uh, this will reach close to the Sitwe in Myanmar in the afternoon of the 14th May, and when the cyclonic storm will reach to the coast, that time the wind speed will be roughly 150 to 160 km per hour, gusting to 165 km per hour. And uh, if we see uh, the effect of this cyclonic storm over the Indian region, so first we look for the effect of this very severe cyclonic storm over the Bay of Bengal. So for today. On 12th of May, there will be the gale wind speed reaching roughly 120 and 110, 130 km uh, per hour uh, are prevailing over the central Bay of Bengal and over the adjoining areas of the central Bay of Bengal, winds are prevailing uh, roughly 100 to 110 km. Tomorrow, the maximum uh, winds, uh, mainly the squally weather, uh, is prevailing over the northeast Bay of Bengal and adjoining areas of the uh, west central and the central bay of bengal and with the maximum wind speed of the 130 and 140 kmph and by tomorrow evening the maximum wind will be 150 to 160 km per hour over the northeast bay of bengal similarly on the 14th uh, of may on the 14th the system will reach uh, close to the coast uh, uh, of the myanmar and bangladesh and uh, in the afternoon uh, before noon it will uh, make a landfall uh, close to the Sitwe in the Myanmar. So that time during the landfall, the uh, maximum wind speed will be 140 and 150 km, gusting to 165 km over the region. And over the adjoining areas of the northeast Bay of Bengal, will, wind speed will be roughly 100 to 110 km per hour. Because of this squally weather and very strong wind over the central Bay of Bengal for the today, over the northeast Bay of Bengal for tomorrow and day after the tomorrow, uh, the mainly we are we advise to the fishermen ships and boats uh, not to advise into all those areas till 14th of uh, may and all those fishermen boats or ships who are already in the sea are advised to return to the coast return to the safer place as soon as the possible and it is also advised to regulate the tourism activities uh, and shipping activities uh, over the andaman mainly over north andaman sea for today and it is uh, advised to regulate the shipping activities over the central Bay of Bengal till 14th of May over the northeast Bay of Bengal and adjoining northwest Bay of Bengal uh, till 14th of May because of the squally weather uh, where the wind speed will be very high and because of the very heavy rainfall over the this uh, region of the Bay of Bengal. And another effect of this cyclonic storm over the Indian region will be mainly over the northeast India. So as the cyclonic storm will move towards the Bangladesh and Myanmar coast, uh, weather activity will start over the northeast India also along with the Andaman Nicobar Islands. So mainly the uh, Tripura and Mizoram will receive heavy to very heavy rainfall on 13th and 14th of May because of the cyclonic storm. And Nagaland, Manipur and South Assam area will also receive heavy to very heavy rainfall on 14th of May because of the cyclonic storm and there is also possibility of isolated heavy rainfall over mainly over the Andaman Islands for today. And if you look into the observed weather during past 24 hours, then the yesterday the heavy rainfall was observed over the Kerala which are shown in this yellow color 
and if today hail storm occurred mm-hmm. over the it one or two places over the madhya maharashtra and the state heat wave conditions prevailed over the west bengal and sikkim area some parts of the bihar and over some parts of the gujarat state if we look into the weather uh, um, maximum temperatures then the state the maximum temperatures were 40 to 42 degree centigrade over many parts of the gujarat state some parts of this uh, west rajasthan some parts of the west madhya pradesh and some parts of the vidarbha also and in the uh, remaining area of the central india east india some parts of the peninsular india and most parts uh, of the north plains of north west india maximum temperatures were between 37 to 40 degree centigrade which are shown in the red color and over the western himalayan region particularly over jammu kashmir himachal and uttarakhand maximum temperatures were somewhere 34 to 36 degree centigrade and this is today main chain of chips and optic features so today this is the uh, very severe cyclonic storm moka over the central parts of bay of bengal and over the northwest india we have a western disturbance uh, uh, as it as it trough in the mid tropospheric levels and in the lower tropospheric levels a cyclonic circulation lies over the southwest rajasthan another cyclonic circulation lies over the gujarat region and the third cyclonic circulation which all uh, which lies over the jharkhand area because of these synoptic systems and the tro- this tropical cyclones Uh, if you look for the weather for weather warning for the next 5 5 days then on today uh, uh, there will be heat wave to severe heat wave conditions over the gujarat region which will prevail uh, during next two days that is on 12th of may and on 13th of may also and heat wave conditions are also likely over some parts of the west rajasthan some parts of the west madhya pradesh some parts of the maharashtra on today and tomorrow and over the some parts of the south peninsular india and parts of the north east india will receive the light to moderate rainfall over some parts with isolated heavy rainfall over the nagaland manipur mizoram on tomorrow similarly uh, on 14th of may uh, uh, main weather will be confined over the north east india and mainly the central india most parts of the northwest india west india and some parts of the east india will be dry during next 5 days on 14th of may there is a possibility of very heavy rainfall over the nagaland manipur mizoram and tripura and isolated heavy rainfall is likely over arunachal pradesh and assam and meghalaya so we have given the orange color warning for the nagaland manipur mizoram and yellow color warning for the arunachal pradesh and assam and meghalaya and uh, on 14th of may heat wave conditions is likely over the coastal and pradesh vidarbha and west madhya pradesh and because of the approaching western disturbance light rainfall and thunderstorm activity will start over the western himalayan region from 14th of may which will continue till 15th of may so we have given the yellow color warning for the jammu kashmir himachal and uttarakhand for both the days and heat wave conditions will further extend to the odisha west bengal and bihar on 15th of may so we have given the yellow color warning for all those areas and on 15th of may very heavy rainfall is likely over assam meghalaya nagaland manipur mizoram and tripura so because of that we have given the orange color warning and over the rajasthan on 14th and 15th of may dust storm at some places are very likely similarly on 16th of may Uh, mainly dry weather will prevail over the most parts of the country except the north east india some parts of the east india and some parts of the himachal pradesh and Jam- uh, uttarakhand on 16th may also very heavy rainfall is likely over assam meghalaya so we have given the orange color and heavy rainfall is possible over the arunachal pradesh and nagaland manipur mizoram so we have given the uh, yellow color warning over the region and heat wave conditions will continue over the bihar west bengal and odisha on 16th of may so yellow color warning has been given even for the coastal and pradesh also and uh, over the himachal pradesh and uttarakhand yellow color warning is given because of the thunderstorm and lightning activity over the region and for the rajasthan also we have given the yellow color because of the dust storm activity over the rajasthan will continue till 16th of may for more detailed weather information you can visit the imd website you can follow us on our facebook page and our youtube channel thank you